In this review, we take a closer look at five watches that stand out for their unique design, functionality, and overall appeal. From classic and sophisticated to modern and bold, each of these timepieces offers something different for the discerning watch enthusiast. So, without further ado, let's dive in and explore these five watches in detail. The Tissot Telemeter 1938 is a throwback, as the name suggests. The 42mm stainless steel case is round and retro, with a flattish crown and pushers. It's 13.9mm thick, and the 22mm lugs connect to an attractive embossed leather strap. While it is only rated for 30 meters of water resistance, it is adequate for everyday use. When viewed from an angle, the scratch-resistant sapphire crystal provides an appealing distorting effect. The display case back is made of the same material as the display case. A Swiss Tissot automatic movement with a 68-hour power reserve is housed within the case. The black dial with overlapping copper markings and accents was stunning. A ladder index around the outside shows the minute positions in tiny Arabic numerals every five minutes. The primary index is located within this, with large Arabic numerals at all hour positions except 3 and 9 o'clock. The copper hands are broadsword-shaped and have a long, narrow second hand. A pair of subdeals at 3 and 9 o'clock count down 30 minutes and 60 seconds, respectively. A 60-second chronograph index overlaps the subdeals in the center. This index is nearly as broad as the primary index and, when active, employs the second hand. Here's a timepiece that wasn't made for diving but is perfect for sightseeing across the world. The Seamaster name lives on, but the World Timmer moniker is unique to this watch. The World Timmer has an automatic movement with a 60-hour power reserve that is housed in a 43mm case cities from across the world, including Omega's hometown of BN, are listed on the face in order of time zone. Those that observe daylight saving time are printed in black, those that do not are printed in blue, and London is painted in red to indicate GMT. The dial is made of hand-applied enamel and sapphire crystal, and it features a 24-hour time display and a map of the world. Starting in December 2019, the World Timmer will be available in different colors. A platinum version with a brown leather strap will be limited to just 87 pieces. The SBGA 11 Snowflake is one of Grand Seiko's most recognizable models, named for its distinctive snow pattern dial. It features a 41mm stainless steel case and is powered by Grand Seiko's Caliber 9 R65 a high-precision movement with a power reserve of 72 hours. The watch's design is inspired by the snow-covered landscapes of the Japanese Alps, and its unique dial texture adds a touch of personality to this timepiece. The SBGA 11 Snowflake is water-resistant to 100 meters, comes with a stainless steel bracelet, and is perfect for those who appreciate unique and eye-catching design, and its versatile styling makes it suitable for a variety of occasions. Aris divides their aviation watches into vintage-inspired and modern-styled models. Descriptively, all have big crown in their names as pilot watches often have large crowns meant to be easy to operate while wearing gloves. The vintage-inspired aviation watches are pointer dates, a signature configuration for Aris, while the modern-styled aviation watches vary stylistically and functionally to form an impressively diverse range. The Aris Big Crown Pointer Date has been a popular range for many decades, offering old-school aviation vibes and up-to-the-minute mechanical technology and specs. The distinctive pointer date models give you tasty vintage style and a full view of the month around the dial, which many find to be a useful way to get a sense of a larger chunk of time. They come in many sizes and styles, and like all Aorus watches, they offer incredible fit and finish at reasonable prices. There are also a few limited editions, as well as a weekday pointer, and one with Aorus's own 403 movements. For a real everyday watch with excellent wrist presence, an interesting complication, and good value, I really like the pointer date collection. The blue dial on the leather feels like it's on the move, but both sizings feel great. And I love the distinctive use of color and the effortless blend of Oris's sporty know-how with an otherwise traditional motif. This is the Timex Q reissue, which manages to combine both 90s Timex nostalgia and my love for 70s watch design. With a Rolex Oyster Quartz styled case and a Pepsi bezel color, this watch is a very difficult one to resist at $180 and. 
These watches were impossible to get hold of after they were first released, but things seem to have settled now. And you can get them from the Timex website without much hassle. I measured the case to be 38 millimeters in diameter, 44.25 millimeters from lug to lug, and 11.75 millimeters tall. The 11.75 millimeter includes the pretty tall boxed plexiglass and the little bump of the battery compartment. So the actual perceived height is much shorter and closer to 9 millimeters. If you're wondering where corners were cut to make this watch available at $180 and the case finishing is one of them. The polished surfaces are decent, but the brushed surfaces aren't the best. This is a difficult watch for me to objectively review since it is a watch that is automatically elevated because of its brand name and design appeal. If someone came to me and said they want to buy the best watch available under $200 and I don't think I'd be recommending this one over some of Citizen and Casio's watches. But if someone with an existing collection wanted to spend some money on a fun watch that will exist purely to entertain its owner, this one is perfect for the job.